There is something unnecessarily satisfying about making your own dough, especially for pizza. You can find my recipe free on my blog or join my Patreon where for $5 a month you can get print and e-version recipe cards for your collections. Now pizza dough is actually not that hard at all. All you want to do is get some sugar and some lukewarm water, not too hot, and some instant yeast. Then you stir it up and you just let it foam for a little while before you put it into your bowl. Now I was on vacation in Slovenia at the time and I didn't have any measuring tools. I literally had only cups and tablespoons. However, here's where you learn that it matters more what ratio you have than what tools. Talk about old school. Mm, yeah, tablespoons. but that's what it is in the old days. I didn't really have, I mean, and then you go by feel. You know how bread feels. My mom's right. I make sourdough at home pretty much every week, so I do know what bread feels like, and I know that if it's a little too sticky after you mix it all together like this, no problem. All you gotta do is add just a little bit more flour on top and keep on kneading. Instant yeast is a lot more forgiving than sourdough, so you can do that with this kind of dough. What matters is that it's smooth and holds its shape. So cover it and leave it to rest for up to 4 hours before you start on all your toppings. Now like the charcuterie board, what you want on your magic depends on your toppings. If you want protection and exorcism, take peppers and onions. Death and rebirth, mushrooms and egg. And remember that your meat and cheese can do a lot too. I was definitely supposed to take the skins off of the salami, I didn't, it was still fine, but you know, make sure you know what you're doing with the salami. And I didn't have pre-shredded cheese, so I just tore up some gouda and mozzarella, and that was it. But remember that your pizza dough itself is magical just from the get-go, I mean, it's got wheat and olive oil, which is great for fertility and protection. And of course, you could make the whole sauce from scratch, or you could just take a jar and add these seasonings in. Basil is great for prosperity, and oregano great for love and joy. And the tomato itself is another love and lust and protection based item. But if you're using jar sauce, it is important to season it a little extra because they tend to be bland. And luckily I had my boyfriend here as a bit of a taste tester outside the window. He was outside building a fire and this is a do as I say, not as I do moment because we wanted to grill it because this oven was really cool outside, but it is not easy to do pizza that way. However, let's go back to before I knew what a tragedy it was going to be to try and grill a pizza outside on an open fire and start getting that dough work together. Here you want to just gently stretch it out into a circle and eventually, yes, do that thing where you just kind of knuckle it around until it stretches out. But again, I am a fool and I was trying to cook it on a grill, which means I had to put it on this paddle and basically redo it all again. Since we grilled it, you want to cook the pizza a little bit first and then put the toppings on top. And as you can see, it came out a little wonky and uneven. But just trust me and bake it in an oven for a beautiful piece of homemade pizza made magic.